is Kyle. I started coming to the church from a really young age. Um, we came because my parents were going through some really serious issues. My dad was very abusive towards my mom on the physical aspect, verbally, and growing up I got to see a lot of that. So I picked up on the anger as well. Um, the same anger that he had inside, I would take it outside. I would fight with the boys outside, I would, even though I would get hit, that was the way I would take out my anger. And then I would do the same thing t to my siblings, I would take out the same anger that I picked up from my dad towards my mom and that made me very depressed. It made me feel like I was worth nothing growing up. I was always, you know, always seeing myself as the ugly duckling. And then when I got into college, because of going through so many of those things, I thought I wanted to change. So my escape or a way of thinking that I needed to change was through getting into a relationship. So I got into a relationship, it was for over three years, and I thought, okay, this is my moment to be happy. And it was the complete opposite. I was not happy. Things got worse. In the beginning, everything seemed like it was okay. Everything felt like it was normal. I thought I was happy. And then the problems started arising. And that just made me even more anxious. I got super jealous where I would start creating arguments out of nowhere. Um, my depression went further down to a point where I didn't even want to leave my house, didn't want to leave my room didn't want to go to college anymore. I would stay in bed all day, curtains closed, in the darkness, just blocking everybody out. That was the point that I was at, where I just felt like I was getting to the bottom of the pit and I just needed to get out. I did hear of the Holy Spirit actually, and I just wasn't interested in it. I was not interested in anything that was going on in church because of the issues that was going on at home. It did not make me want it whatsoever and then I saw oh, if I receive the Holy Spirit that means I'm going to have to change my life is going to have to be fixed in an order I can't go out I can't go partying I can't do the things that I want to do because I would have that thought of oh now I need to fix myself but inside I also wanted to fix myself so there was that conflict going on so the 21 days came about um, where in my relationship we were just having way too many arguments. We were fighting like every other day. And I was like, if we continue on like this, this relationship is gonna kill me. And when that talk came into my head, the first thing that, it, that came as well was, if I die, I know where I'm gonna go. I'm going to go to hell. It's time to fix up. It's time for me to receive the Holy Spirit. It's time for me to give my everything, sacrifice friends, music, social media, clothes, shoes, anything that I could find to sacrifice, I had to sacrifice, and especially inside. I had to sacrifice my insecurities, I had to sacrifice the complexes that I had, I had to look at myself differently as well. You know, those bits and pieces, I really had to dig deep to really give my all. And there was one thing that I wasn't sacrificing, which was my relationship. And God was just showing me, just give this to me and I will give you something much greater. And I was fighting it, making, the most excuses that I could give to not give that aspect of my life to God. And came in the first week of the 21 days and I said, you know what God, enough is enough. I am really tired and if I am really tired and I want to show you that I'm really tired of the life that I'm living, then I'm going to sacrifice this relationship. So I broke it off and that's when I dived deep into the 21 days full force. Started reading my Bible more, started meditating more. I started seeking the Holy Spirit in the odd hours of the night, nights where I would stay awake before crying, suffering. I would wake up and I would seek the Holy Spirit, asking him to give me strength to continue until the very end. It was on a Wednesday at half seven, still remember. I was one of the few people to be in the front seeking the Holy Spirit. And there was a point where there was distractions coming into my mind a lot of distraction bombarded me. And then I just started praying louder and louder in to a point where I did not hear anyone else around me. It was just me and God in that moment. Just felt like it was just me and God. And he was t saying, tell me everything that is inside. From what I've done in the past to how I'm feeling today and how, even how my day went, I just poured it all. And then at the end I said, my God, I just need you right now, only you. And from that moment on, the assurance, the peace, the weight that was lifted off my shoulder the moment that I received the Holy Spirit. And then once I made that prayer and I kept quiet for a few minutes, it was just the assurance inside of me that 
no matter what, from today forward, I belong to God. Today I'm very happy with the Holy Spirit inside. I never used to have self-love. Now I love myself. I don't wait for other people to compliment me or to appreciate me. I appreciate myself. Um, I'm no longer depressed, not even thinking of suicide. It's like spending the whole day in my house, it's because I'm busy, not because I would feel down. I don't block people out the way I used to block people out anymore. Um, in my household, we are more understanding. We speak rather than shout now. It's total difference before and after.